Okay, here's today's lab that we have for you. <clears throat> it's a chemical reaction lab. First, our entry test. We're talking about uh, chemical reactions. Uh, we're talking about reactants will yield blank, and these will have different blank than the reactant. So keep that in mind as we do today's lab. Check your notes, review that, and then uh, enter the answers in your notes. Remember, today's safety is our first concern. Cooperation is a must. Our materials that we're using today, our reactants today are sodium bicarbonate, and calcium chloride, bromothymol blue, and then our later on our products will have calcium carbonate, we'll have carbon dioxide, and we'll have water and sodium ions. And everything's listed there for you. Now let's get to the lab itself. Zoom in right here. Here's our lab apparatus. Here's our setup. This is what you have when we start. So we're going to start taking these out right after I explain these. First, in A, in A, we've got our calcium chloride. In B, we've got our sodium bicarbonate. In the beaker and inside the squirt bottle we have our bromothymol blue. And shortly we will get started here with the, uh, of course, don't forget our stirring sticks right here lab labeled A and B. Only use those for those correct specimen cups with A and B. Now here's our lab. We'll start taking things out. This is our lab wrap so everybody can follow along. Okay, it's all set for us. Let's take out our beaker with our bromothymol blue. We'll take out the whiteboard with both specimen A and specimen B on it. And we'll have that set right here. And next, what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at these and we're going to look at the physical characteristics of both A and B. Physical characteristics. So look at those. And I'll give you an overhead view of A. Here's A. And here is B. Okay, so we've taken a physical look. Now, when we test temperature, Mr. Wong, please show how we pick up a specimen and we place it on our wrist or the back of our hand. So go ahead and pick up one of the specimens first so we can test it on your wrist or the back of your hand. Now, we're using our wrist or the back of our hand to test for temperature. And we can note that. So we do that. That's for A. And set it down. I would do it for B. And we just gauge it. It's a quick check. We don't have to sit it on there forever. It's just for a quick check for temperature. Okay? Now, we jot down our notations, and then we're going to start with letter A first. Start with letter A, and we're going to use our bromothymol blue, and you got to pour gently, okay? So we're doing A first, pouring in bromothymol blue. Do it gently. Make sure your lid's on tight, and this is what we're doing. Now, look down here. We are filling it up only to the line on the cup, or... If you have an extra large sample, you want to make sure that all of your calcium chloride is covered. But right there, a little bit more, Mr. Wong. And very good. We can leave that sit while Mr. Wong now goes and pours letter B. This is the sodium bicarbonate. And we are adding, adding our bromothymol blue. And very simply, we're going to fill it up to the line again. Got to let it soak around, get the rest of the sodium bicarbonate saturated. And very good. Now we're set. Now, look at the calcium chloride. You can see that there's a difference already taking place inside that is different from sodium bicarbonate. We want to stir both of these. So, we'll take this and look at that. Mr. Wong can do wax on and wax off with the, uh, <laughs> he must be good at waxing cars. You can stir both at the same time. Notice there are differences taking place already in letter A. Not so much in letter B. Okay? Now, you will repeat this on each station, okay, for six minutes, stirring every minute for six minutes, all the way up to possibly 10 to 12 minutes, depending on the reactions that we're looking for. Now, we're going to take letter A first. Letter A first, and we're going to pour letter A in to our beaker. Go ahead, Mr. Wong, letter A. We'll go into our beaker, and in it goes. Now, we don't have a total dissolved mixture yet, okay? So, Mr. Wong, just for today's purpose, okay, let's take a good look at that. And I want to do this off site here, just for the time being. And we got that. And then let's look at letter B. There's letter B, and just to add to it, just to mm -hmm. make sure. Now, here we go. Here's our mixture. The last thing we're going to do now is pour in the remaining... There we go, our calcium chloride. 
mixture. And now we're going to empty in our sodium bicarbonate. And there we go. And notice the quickly the reaction that's taking place. We'll let this go time lapse for us. We'll hold it here. Now Mr. Wong's getting out the last of the contents of the sodium bicarbonate. And I'm going to pan up to that. He's going to, just like you're uh, mixing up a batch of cookies or cupcakes, you want to get all of the mixture out and in and let it all cook. And you can see, doesn't it look like it's cooking? We definitely have some chemical reactions taking place. Okay? And you can hear it even. Alright, now, in our products, notice on our products on the sideboard, one of our products is carbon dioxide. A good test for carbon dioxide, very good, a good test for carbon dioxide is to see whether or not a match will remain lit when we light it. So let's take a match right now and light it and see if it will not burn out when we, uh, or be put out by the lack of oxygen because right now we have oxygen in the room and let's see inside the beaker what we have. And notice it extinguishes the flame, puts out the flame. One more try, see if we still have a production. Maybe we used up all the CO2 in that one match. Try it one more time, it's nicely burning, well burning match. We'll take it, put it inside the beaker and voila. CO2 is being produced because it's extinguishing the flame. All right, kids, that's it. Let's get busy. Let's do our lab. Let's experience it for yourself. Remember, to test temperature for every time for both A and B on your wrist or the back of your hand. Everybody experiences it. Thank you.